what is going on guys it's your boy domes here and today i have a brand new wall bounce tutorial video for you guys listen today we're gonna teach you guys how to angular bounce in corners like this we're gonna teach you guys how to circle bounce even though circle bouncing i'm gonna be completely honest with y'all all right i'll be real with you i'll be the first person to say it circle bouncing isn't super helpful but it is gonna look a little bit flashy if you want to go for some insane clips you know what i mean I'm going to show you guys a clip of me circle bouncing and getting a kill. So kind of you guys can get like a little gist idea how it looks like when you're actually doing the circle bounce. Evolve. Oh my God, the circle bounce. <laughs> but um, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right. Um, so angular bouncing, let's just start off with that or corner bouncing. Um, it does help you in actual game. So let's say you're stuck in a corner right here, right? You have an opponent in front of you. Obviously strafing like this isn't the best way to get a kill or making that person miss shots. But if you pull down on your right stick all the way down like this, right? And just move your left stick right to left, you'll get it down. But I want I want you guys first to practice the whole air canceling thing. All right, so make sure you guys practice dashing towards the wall and then pressing back on the analog stick, and then practice the side bounce cancel. All right, this is a big thing. All right, try to practice this, canceling your wall bounce side to side. All right, that's how you're gonna get down the angular bouncing. All right, once you get that down and you practice that, you go into a corner. Doesn't matter what corner it is. It could be anywhere around the map. It could be here in that corner. It could be technically in this corner too if you're trapped by someone right here and you want to angle or bounce your way to survival or whatever. You know what I mean? You can just angle or bounce and look a little bit, you know, look a little bit insane on their screen and then wall switch and then go for whatever you want to go for. But um, here's actually how you do it, guys, all right? So once that, like I told you guys, practice the side to side wall cancel. Now find a corner, right? Hold down your right stick. Then when you're with your left stick, all you want to do is go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. All right, it's literally that simple. Um, I know you guys won't get it down all the time, but once you guys master that angular bounce, you can mix it up in the middle of your session. So let's say you're wall bouncing, right? Like a little freak wall bouncing. Then you see a corner, you can just do this and mix it up. All right, so you don't have to like, it'll be all in one motion. So nobody's gonna really expect you to angular bounce and then continue wall bouncing like a freak. All right, so try to incorporate that into your gameplay. It does matter, it does work. I've seen players all the time use it, especially now with the fault in it being a thing, like I said, you guys want to master the angular bouncing, all right? Now, circle bouncing is pretty simple, all right? Hold up your left stick. And then with your right stick, you want to go to the left or right. Doesn't really matter, right? And just spam press A. It's like a little rhythm to it. But once you guys master the rhythm, you guys can do this anywhere around the map. But again, it's flashy as hell. It's not really going to help you, but you can use it, you know, for, to go for crazy clips. If you, guys, if you guys are the type of players that like going for crazy clips, that's the wall bounce you want to do, all right? Um, triangular bouncing, this is pretty simple and self-explanatory, but I got you guys anyways. Y'all know, know the vibes, all right? Find two pieces of cover, all right? Then once you dash towards the cover, you want to cancel it. Look towards the other side, cancel it again, and just keep that motion going. Imagine there's a triangle, all right? So boom, boom, and boom. This is the triangle, all right? This corner right here, this spot right here, and this spot right here is part of the triangle, all right? All you have to do is keep doing it back and forth. Like, watch this. You guys do not have to go super fast. Start off doing this, all right? And then once you get that down, you can start going a little bit faster, all right? But the main reason, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I had something stuck in my throat. That wasn't a voice crack. <laughs> but um, the main reason you guys want to use that, all right, is you guys can go like for an outplay back A, for example. Let's say you have an opponent right here, right? All you want to do is triangular bounce. All right, so let me show you guys. Let me start off in this corner, actually. Boom, boom, boom. Come back, back A, all right? So you can run away from your opponent, then cut back towards them with the angular bounce or triangular bounce, sorry, and then hit that back A on them or up A and whatever you want to do. Usually a player will either go for the up A or back A. You choose kind of what you want to do. You can also up A it. All right, that's, that's the third bounce, all right? Then the regular wall bouncing, you guys all got to know this, all right? Like I said, the best way to practicing you guys is practice the angular angular bouncing first. If you guys want to get that down, so you can always mix up your your regular wall bounce. So this is a, this to me is a regular wall bounce, all right? Nothing too flashy. You're waiting a little bit of cancel, and you're you're looking a little bit uh a little bit slick with the movement, all right? 
this is helpful like i said wall bouncing has always been helpful but the way i like using this this slow bounce kind of is to bait someone to shoot me All right, so I'll show you guys a little clip of me baiting someone to shoot so I can make them poke out of cover. So if you know someone is right here, for example, right? There's a player here. You can come up slowly, fake it, stop moving for a little bit, and then just assume that person's gonna peek and just hold your shot for a little bit, all right? So boom, then hold your shot and then shoot the moment you see his character peek out. That is the best way of outputting damage. While the other person's never expecting to go for that either, to be honest, most players that they most pub players all right pub players professional players always expect i'm not gonna lie to ya they really kind of know the tricks but it's, even pro players get hit by this move all the time but um again wall bounce wall bounce wall bounce wall bounce cancel and then just bait your opponent to peek out um again like i said guys this is like this bounce this wall bounce right here is a little mixed let me let's go to the shoddy battle with this guy i think this guy knows who i am actually forget it forget it forget it <laughs> I think he actually wants to find me, actually. All right, there you go. Let's start this. Let's start this fight. Let's see how this goes. I wasn't gonna kill him to be honest, but hopefully you guys got. The, that's also the thing I want to show you guys. Always aim above the cover when you're fighting someone. When you have them hurt, because when you play wide on them, nine times out of ten they're gonna up a the opposite way. And as they're going for the up A, you just want to shoot them over the cover simply and just keep outputting damage. But um, I think those are the four main wall bounces I wanted to teach you guys. Um, Again, the angular bounce in the corner. Angular bouncing can work in any section on the map. It doesn't, doesn't have to be this exact corner. Like I said, you guys can pick a corner you guys want to wall bounce at. Um, then you have this tunnel. You can also do it in here. It's a little bit weird to do it here, but you can do it. Just move your left. Look, my right stick is pulling down right now. And I'm just moving my left stick. I'm not moving my right stick whatsoever. And look how fast this wall bounce looks. Literally just one stick movement. So you guys should go into a private, practice that movement. Um, here's my control settings for you guys too. I know you guys might need it. Um, classic alt, 24, 24, 24. Yes, it's pretty low compared to other people. But listen, 24 works guys, all right? Um, classic alt. And then control remapping is X is to A and my Y is to X. Um, if you guys don't know what that does, it makes it so we have the alternate movement and still play default pretty much. So like, it's, it does, it's not a big difference in movement, but there is a small difference. Like, like you pick up covers from farther distances. However, it does take a little bit of time to get used to it. So if you guys do want to get used to the movement system, feel free to switch over to the alternate or classic alt. And, um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what type of video you guys want to watch on my channel. Like I said, I'm going to be dropping a lot of tutorials on this channel for you guys. A lot, a lot. Um, if there's any wall bounces that you guys are having issues with, please type down in the comment section below. I will try to respond to you guys as fast as I can. All right. I'm just one human. Um, but I will try to get to every single comment that I can under this video. All right. I'm going to try my absolute hardest to respond to all you guys. And until next time, it's been your boy Domes. And I'm out, guys. Peace.